Hey YouTube, it is Ryan here, and I just uh, got this bit of information on my radar here that Mac OS Sierra, not Mac OS X Sierra, because they're saying here that it's farewell to OS X, is coming September the 20th. So what we need to do to get ready is make sure we have, let's see in their requirements what we need. Uh, you can upgrade to Sierra if you are OS X 10.7.5 or later and you'll need 8.8 .8 gigs of free drive space. Uh, it's a good idea just to, you know, totally clean your computer prior to an update like this. So let's look at how to do that using Clean My Mac software, which I will link to in this video as well as in my notes. Uh, the description below this video. So here is Clean My Mac 3, the preferred software that I use for scanning my hard drive and taking care of all of the redundant files and unnecessary uh, information on my computer that's taking up valuable space. I ran this last probably two months ago, so we'll see how much it finds over the, uh, the next, or I guess the past two months of use on this computer. I'll speed this up if the video or if the scan takes uh, longer than a minute or so, but so far it seems to be doing it pretty quickly. So far you can see that it's found 3.21 gigs. Ooh, it's going through the trash bin because I haven't emptied the trash. It's found 31.71 gigs so far. Looks like it's still doing the scanning here. I've just got the smart cleanup going. Whoa, 100 gigs found in total. Yikes, let's review them. Oh, look at this. I've also got the option to filter it. Um, things that are more than 5 gigs, 1 gig to 5 gigs, and it breaks down how much of this. Oh, the iMovie library is 70 gigs. That I could definitely erase. These aren't very big. It's really this iMovie library that's crushing me. And I'm glad that Clean My Mac 3 has found it because I would like to remove that. So I'm going to select just that one and I'm going to remove the iMovie library because that is killing me right now. Uh, are you sure that you want to remove the iMovie library? Yeah, let's get rid of that because I've already done all of those video projects and I've got like 70 gigs of video on there that uh, are definitely just slowing me down. And I'm glad that I'll have this erased before the upgrade to OS Sierra. Yeah, it's taken a while. Okay, so I'm just going to skip this part and I'll resume video once we are done with the unneeded file deletion. Beauty, so that's done. The large and old files have been deleted. I'm going to hop over to System Junk. Let's review the details. Just a bunch of cached stuff. Let's clean that. Uh, yep, let's close Chrome. Okay, so I've got my... Oh, Chrome's trying to reopen. Let's close that. Uh, photo junk. Yeah, I've got the system junk cleaned up. Looks like I grabbed three gigs there. Again, the biggest uh, savings for sure was in my large and old files. 70 gigs. That's huge. Um, my trash bin has like 30 gigs. Let's empty that too. Bajiggity. 30 gigs. So look, I've got 70 close to 30. It's like 100 gigs of savings right there. Definitely enough to create my 8.8 .8, uh, gigs of space for OS Sierra. iTunes, that's just a little 14.9 meg uh, cleanup. Might as well do it. iPhoto, let's clean that too. Get rid of the iPhoto cache. And bam. View the log. Yep, hide the log. Awesome. My smart cleanup is complete. And I am ready for September 20th when OS Sierra comes out. Thanks for watching. The download link for this Clean My Mac 3 software will be in the video description as well as there should be a clickable tab in this video when I put that in there. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate and subscribe. Thanks.